It is his fault. The way he handled the situation was not professional and it is his fault. And you can say that and also say that the enforcement of this law and the situation was ridiculous and the way the police enforced it was ridiculous. And both those statements can be true. You cannot legally keep a squirrel. Animals not allowed as pets. Squirrels and raccoons. And a raccoon that's been captured has to be euthanized. The law requires licensed trappers to humanely euthanize the animal. Oh my God, no way. And, and the guy running an animal sanctuary should have known this and chose to keep them anyway and chose to not send them to a sanctuary anyway that could have kept them legally and chose to post these animals on social media anyway what's going on what's popping so i guess we'll talk about this peanut the squirrel situation i've been looking into it vaguely but really what what else is there to say other than it's obviously not cool that this guy's pet was uh taken from him we don't like to see that we don't like that at all just i looked in kind of like the legality of it so i'm a little bit informed of what like new york law is Stuff like that. Uh, I have some sources here to go over. But first, let's uh, let's look what ABC7. Let's see what their reporting had on this. But um, maybe I'm missing something. So we'll look into this. I'll go over what I think of the situation, and then I guess we'll download the um, the correct opinion from Moist Critical because he seems to always kind of have the most. Is it is it negative to say vanilla vanilla bait like just just like neutral take that like the popular opinion whether it's derived from him or. He just comes to it naturally. He normally has that. So look at his last, just so my own opinions are not doctored or altered in any way. A social media star has been seized by authorities in upstate New York, and his fans are going nuts. To take Peanut away from my family is not only, you know, heart-wrenching, but then you take it away from the organization that solely gets its funding from social media that requires Peanut to get that funding. Mark Longo's... What organization? Because it's illegal to have a, a squirrel in New York State, which I'm just going to come off the rip. I know this is not the correct opinion to have. But we, the, the dude was illegally having a pet squirrel, posting it all over social media. And whether the cops should have had something better to do than go harass this guy over his fucking squirrel is a separate conversation. But I love how it's like surprise Pikachu face. When the squirrel gets taken away and something bad happens to the squirrel, it's really this guy's fault, right? Like, like, like if he really just cared about the squirrel, wanted to take care of the squirrel and protect the squirrel, he probably shouldn't have been posting all over the internet that he was illegally owning the squirrel. That would probably put the squirrel in danger, right? If authorities were to find it, which they did, right? Because if you're doing it, you're in the process of doing that, you're probably like, oh, they're not going to bother with me and they probably shouldn't bother with you. But the thing is, they might. So I don't know that that that's that's probably a spicy take, but it's really this guy's fucking fault. <laughs> he could have probably kept the scroll forever and ever and ever if he didn't have to make it into a social media thing. Says officers raided his home, taking his pet squirrel, Peanut, and his raccoon, Fred. Longo runs a sanctuary housing horses, goats, and alpacas, and says he relies on these social media videos to raise money. But it's against New York law to own a wild animal without a license. Like you don't you don't have any other animals on your sanctuary that are legally being kept and the other thing is you own a sanctuary and you're illegally harboring an animal which again i don't give a shit i think the guy should have been able to keep the squirrel i think this is fucking ridiculous it's a, it's an over it's an over enforcement of an unnecessary enforcement of law that there should have been somebody that provided nuance before the guy's house got raided and the squirrel got uh, euthanized that being said again the dude was again had he runs a sanctuary he had to be knowing that this squirrel was being kept illegally and if authorities were to decide to give a shit something bad could happen to the squirrel and he decided to post anyway so i don't know why i don't know why it's like surprise pikachu face like it's bullshit but like i, I don't hear anybody like kind of just being like well why did the guy have to post it all over the internet well he needed money for his sanctuary he's got horses and cows everywhere in this shot but he needed to post the squirrel. The squirrel's the thing that had to be posted. And we couldn't just temporarily post the squirrel. No, it had to become a permanent staple to our identity. Ident the illegally harbored squirrel had to become a permanent staple of our identity. Which said alpacas and says he relies on these social media videos to raise money. But it's against New York law to own a wild animal without a license. The Department of Environmental Conservation says it received multiple reports about the potentially unsafe housing of wildlife that could carry rabies. And that's just nonsense. Who trolls on the internet, right? What a bunch of fucking losers. What a bunch of fucking losers.
Well, that's illegal. I know where he is. He's in New York. You're not allowed to keep squirrels there. Some fucking Karen. Some some freaking hall monitor. Like like I I'm not that I'm not that I'm not that mean. I'm not that cold hearted. I can recognize that these these fucking losers had to freaking get this guy in trouble for his squirrel because they knew they could, right? They knew they could. This guy seems to be pretty. I don't know. Maybe he does have a history online where he like had a bunch of haters that he was not dealing with properly, but it, it's more of like I know I can get this guy in trouble, so I will. You will. I, I hate the self policing. The self policing. People love that shit. There's there's people that just love any 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 anything they can confuse for like power and control. They love that shit. I told the police on you. Well, you shouldn't have had. Well, you shouldn't have had the squirrel. You shouldn't have had the squirrel. My next step which, which, which he shouldn't have, but we don't got to take it to the level we're reporting our neighbors. Come on now. To be contacted. You know, DEC, the state, nobody has reached out to me to say anything. I don't know if Peanut is alive or they euthanized him. Longo says he rescued Peanut seven years ago after its mother got hit by a car and says Peanut came back after being released. <laughs> The DEC made headlines in a similar no. case this year when it sees this. Well, then you should have been responsible and sent the squirrel to go live on it. You're telling me there's no other squirrel sanctuary in the world where it could have been kept legally and kept safe. It had to be with you. Let's see how long. Like, I I, I get that, like, we don't want to talk about this part of the story, right? But but it is true. This guy didn't need to have the fucking squirrel. I'm sorry. And, I, and the only reason I keep emphasizing that and going over it again and again and again here is because no one else wants to talk about that end of it. It's not being discussed at all. You give it to freaking iDubs. iDubs like squirrels. He'll take care of it, right? Squirrel Sanctuary. I don't want to look up near me because then I might get doxxed. But uh, look, Vancouver. In Vancouver, there's a squirrel refugee. Isn't that in Canada? The guy's in New York State. Like a brisk... Oh, no. I'm way off. <laughs> The point is there's options. The point is there's options. He didn't need to keep the squirrel that he know, knew was illegal, knew the squirrel could have been taken away. And whether the, whether the chances were very unlikely or not, like, I'm not mad at him, right? I'm not mad at him. But to act like this is, like, shocking and we don't know why this could have possibly happened is kind of fucking stupid. Sorry. From a home in Western what do we got? Panic. Yeah, it's shitty, but I sort of agree with you. And the only reason I keep bringing it up is because nobody else wants to say that part of the story where it's like, this guy knew it was illegal to keep the squirrel. This guy decided to unnecessarily post this squirrel all over social media, which should have never really gotten to the point. I don't care. This is an unnecessary enforcement of policy and law. I will agree with that. This is ridiculous how this ended up. The fact that the police could not have just told this guy, listen, you know you're not supposed to have this squirrel. We can't see the squirrel on social media anymore. Get rid of it. And then the guy, he doesn't even have to get rid of it at that point. He can just fucking stop posting it online and the cops will leave him the fuck alone. No, they had to like come and take the squirrel and euthanize. That is ridiculous. And I know the reasoning, I believe, for the euthanization was the fact that the squirrel did bite one of the officers. And the only way to check for rabies, which, by the way, the squirrel had been kept with this man for, what, years? Years. And we're worried about the squirrel having rabies. Not only that, but you can go through the shots. You can just go through the treatment for rabies without killing the animal to diagnose whether it had rabies. What is this cop? A pussy? Is the cop that got bit the biggest bitch on the planet that a little, little squirrel bit him? And he had to chop its fucking head off to make sure he didn't have to get a little needle in his tummy. What a bitch. But uh, this guy could have prevented it all by just not posting the squirrel on social media and being more responsible. You know, he put the squirrel in danger at the end of the day. I'm sorry. It was him. New York. It had lived there for 34 years, its entire life. But the owner's state license had expired and officials worried kids were being allowed to swim near it. Back at Longo's Animal Sanctuary, he questions whether all this was even necessary. I know the laws are the laws and the laws. Okay, and then, like, he, he has to, like, play this game. Like, he, I mean, him, he was going to say, like, well, I know the laws are the laws, but this is ridiculous. But, yeah, but you broke the law. Like, I, I can agree that it's ridiculous, but for you to get in front of a camera and behave like that you're some type of fucking victim, I think it's kind of stupid. I know the laws are the laws and the rules are the rules, but... Okay, then you should have obeyed. Like, I, like that's the... You can't be mad. You can't be mad when you knowingly break the law and then it catches up with you. You can't surprise Pikachu face. I'm sorry.
I know the squirrel's cute. The squirrel, this was ridiculous. This was a gross mismanagement of the law. I believe, you know, this should not, this is a law that should not have been enforced in, in the way it was enforced. I couldn't agree with all of that. But then there's also the other side of it where this guy knew that this was illegal, knew that this could have happened, did all the social media shit anyway. And then when the squirrel got fucking killed, he's like, oh, like, yeah, you did that. But um, the fact of the matter is they brought eight officers here who ransacked my house for a squirrel and a raccoon. Andrew Dimber, a and then he's saying his house got ransacked. Maybe it did. I don't know. Andrew Again, you knew this was if I get into my Mustang and do 130 down 240 and get pulled over by a cop, I'm going to be a little bit angry at the cop and nothing better to do than be a road pirate and give me a ticket but i knew that that was a risk i was taking when i decided to do 130 miles an hour down the fucking highway i like what do you like how stupid would i look if i got pulled over for doing 130 and was like i just i, I know the laws are the laws but uh, honestly i just feel like the cops have better things to be doing you knew that was the risk of what you were doing i don't have a problem with people speeding sorry but like you get caught doing it. Uh, you ABC knew. News. Don't act like you didn't know. You run an animal sanctuary. Watch breaking news. So there's some things I pulled up here. I did t do, v to be fair, limited research. I pulled up another article by this AP News. Uh, just to like go over some quick, like just to, just to kind of inform myself a little bit before I got into it. Because I just, I wanted to make, I was thinking about making a video about this, but I don't know. I, I just don't care that much to make an entire video about the peanut the scroll situation. But when I did look into it, I, I also kind of was just like, eh, I kind of don't feel bad for him. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for the fucking squirrel, but the, this dude did this, you know, New York AP, a man who took in an orphan squirrel and made it a social media star. Exactly. Like, like I, like he could have just not have done the social media part. You could have broken the law and not posted videos of it everywhere and been totally fine. Star vowed Saturday that New York State de decision to euthanize, seize and euthanize the animal won't go unheard. Won't go unheard, guys. We will make a stance now this government in New York State utilizes their resources. Yeah, like, there are genuine complaints to bring up for both sides. This, this is like a gross misenforcement of law. There, there are obviously better things for the New York state to be utilizing the resources over. And they chose to go fucking bring eight officers to this guy's house to euthanize a fucking squirrel. Are you kidding me? That being said, the guy was not legally in the right, was posting it all over social media. So I kind of don't feel bad for him either. He decided to specify his possible next steps. What next steps? Pay your fucking fines for illegally harboring an animal. Sorry. Like, <laughs> like, I I I I don't I don't I don't really see this guy as that that much of a victim. I just don't. He he put himself in that situation. If you, again, if he cared about the squirrel that much, why would you have to post it all over social media? You knew this was a risk. Gross mismanagement, enforcement of law. Yes. Enti like partially your fault. Also, yes. He decided to specify his possible next steps. Blah 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 blah. And then they got they got Fred too. Did they use the, did they euthanize the raccoon? Hmm. Raccoons don't even live very long. And again, it's illegal to keep them in New York, which is I I just I looked that up too. You you could have taken them in, taken care of them, and then sent them to another sanctuary. You chose to make this part of your brand online. And I know the reason we make we're making money is because of our animal sanctuary. It funds the animal sanctuary. Okay. There's more than fucking two animals on the planet. You don't need the raccoon. You don't need the squirrel. Uh, I, I don't know. The, the milking got a little bit ridiculous and bit him in the ass. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, why they just fucking the raccoon, man. Did and then again, like, I feel like I also just got to keep bringing up. This is like, this is like one of those things where people misused the law. They, they knew that technically this guy was not within his legal rights to be harboring these animals. And they knew they could get away with reporting him. And then the police decided to not use any nuance with the situation and come in and over enforce a law that really should, in my opinion, the enforcement of the law should have kind of not have been a thing to begin with. There's a lot of dumb laws. We don't need to enforce them all the time. Okay. Like, 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 like a cop can go up to this guy and be like, Hey, you're not supposed to have this squirrel. We're getting reports of this squirrel. 
squirrel needs to go. And then the guy doesn't even have to get rid of the squirrel. He just has to stop posting that he has it and he can keep the squirrel or get rid of it. He chose, you know, there's the, the multiple faults on both sides of the story. The DC and Chimung County Health Department said Friday that the squirrel and raccoon were euthanized so they could be tested for rabies, which again is ridiculous. These little, these little boy cops, these little baby cops, they were so scared to get a prick in their tummy, they had to cut the fucking squirrel's head off to make sure it didn't have rabies. The squirrel had been with this person for years. And then they bit the cop and the cop had to get his head cut off so he wouldn't have to get a little prick in his tummy. What a bitch. What a pussy. Eight cops to apprehend a squirrel? Are you fucking kidding me? Everyone sucks in this story. There's different degrees of sucking, but everyone sucks. Not really the guy. The guy. The guy, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the guy. He, I just. I think the guy just needs to stop playing it off like he's this absolute victim. He's not an absolute victim. He should have. Should have been very aware that this was a possible outcome, an unlikely outcome, but a possible one. Longo said Saturday that he didn't see Peanut bite anyone during what he described as an hours long heavy handed search which is ridiculous you could have just spoken to this person you could have avoided the ramsacking of the house that is insane that is stupid that is a misuse of enforcement of justice that is a misenforcement of laws the authorities haven't spoke with him since they left the property he said honestly this still kind of feels surreal that the state that i live in has actually targeted me well again i don't like this well why are they targeting why are you targeting me bro like the, I, 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 I get it. He's not the person to say that, right? He's not the person to say that. I feel like, cause he put himself in that situation If other people want to have that take, which I think is actually a correct take. Why did you target this person? Why did you enforce this stupid fucking law? And why did you enforce it the way you enforced it? It all seems pretty ridiculous to me, but he's not the one to say that. They took them from my house and just killed them. He said a request for, and the thing is, the, the guy like this is is it that crazy to believe that this is all being overblown even still because he knows it's going to get him clicks on social media C because he didn't have to keep the squirrel in the first place he could have taken the squirrel and sent it to a sanctuary he chose to make it into a fucking media thing a request for comment was sent to the DEC on Saturday. Longo said he started crying for peanut after the animal's mother was hit by a car in New York City seven years ago. Tens of thousands of users on Instagram and TikTok, other social media platforms, glimpsed the animal's sporting tiny hands, doing tricks and nibbling on waffles, clutching in his little paws. Longo said Fred the raccoon was dropped off on his doorstep a few months ago after... And that's the thing. You are a professional animal sanctuary. You took in this raccoon. You knew it was illegal for you to keep this raccoon on your sanctuary in New York State and you chose to keep it anyway. That is you not being professional. That is you putting yourself in a compromising situation and then to top it all off at insult to injury. You posted these animals on social media. You could have just kept your mouth shut. You post a couple times. Post like a one or two videos. And then just fucking lie. Just fucking lie and say you're sending them somewhere else because you know you're not supposed to keep them. You decided to keep... You, you, you milked it for too long. You did. You fucking did. So anyway, here, New York City. I don't know. NYC 3111. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this isn't the right source to be checking. But uh, this is my source. This is what I'm going off of. The official website of, of the city of New York. Um, and it's this easy to just find this, you know, animals allowed as a pet, domesticated cat or dog, rabbit, horse, gerbil, hamster, guinea pig, which is kind of stupid, right? All these are able to be kept, but not the fucking squirrels kind of dumb, right? Parrot, canary, hen, chicken, small birds, non-snapping tur turtles, four inches, blah, 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 honeybees. Okay. Animals not allowed as pets, squirrels and raccoons. This guy's running a sanctuary. He's choosing to break the law and post it online. I, <laughs> uh, introduction, the raccoon appearance, raccoon's cone is usually a combination. Yeah, I don't know. This just says the same thing. If we scroll down, what does it say? Raccoons are protected by law. No one may possess a raccoon without a license and licenses are not issued to, for, for pet wildlife. Hunting or trapping raccoons requires a license from New York state department of environmental Cons conservation. Once a raccoon has been trapped, 
the law requires licensed trappers to humanely euthanize the animal. Oh my god, no way. I caught a raccoon once, and I gave it to the police. I'm sad now. I should have just let it go on my own. Anyway, they may not re <laughs> relocate trapped raccoons into parks or onto other public properties. I mean, I don't live in New York. My head cannon is going to be my my raccoon is okay. That does make me sad. Um, you get the point. You get the point. Okay. My 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 main thing going over this is: Do I think this is a gross uh, misuse of New York City resources? Yes. Do I think this is a over enforcement of law? Yes. Do I think this guy had to post his illegally harbored animals online repeatedly over and over and over again? No. Do I think a guy running a professional animal sanctuary should know better? Yes. Like, so that's, I don't know. Those are my thoughts. I don't think that is the public, a publicly accepted narrative. I think people may be mad at me for feeling that way. Although I think I am objectively correct. And I'm not even saying that the police were right. I think that the guy should have been left alone. I think at maximum, at maximum, this guy should have got a knock on his door from police authority saying, hey, man, you can't keep this squirrel. And then the guy should have a not put himself in the situation to begin with and be at that point. Like I said before, a the squirrel can go live on a sanctuary. It doesn't have to be. You're, he's acting like it's life or death. Like if I released the squirrel, it would have died. No, you can take the squirrel to a squirrel sanctuary. You can give the squirrel the fucking eye dubs. OK, you don't need to keep the fucking squirrel. It was not necessary. It was double not necessary to post it all over the internet. You're running a professional sanctuary. You knew this was illegal. You chose to take the route you took with the animal. And then when admittedly the police over enforced a stupid fucking law, maybe it's not stupid, right? There's probably a reason squirrels can't be kept as pets, but this was clearly not a situation that needed intervention when they chose to intervene anyway. Well, you know, you kind of dug your hole there, but I do want to see what opinion is being downloaded by your adver average internet enjoyer. So I'd like to take a couple minutes and go over what Moist Maybe Critical himself thinks of the situation. I already dead. started watching it a little bit, and then I walked away. But, um... I don't know. Let's see first if maybe, I... maybe we do. Have, maybe I'm... Maybe I am closer first thing I saw... to the typical opinion being being displayed. I don't think I am, though. I think, I think, I think Cute Squirrel gets killed by Bad Cop, and then everyone just Everyone just avoids all nuance to the situation and just just becomes Harambe too, which Harambe was different. They should not have shot that gorilla, but um, maybe I don't know. The problem there too is like the 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 like the mom, like like parents just don't watch their kids. It's so fucking disgusting. I was at a hospital the other day, and it was like thirty degrees out. And this mother, and maybe I don't know something about babies, but this mother was bringing their baby into the hospital. And again, it's like 30 degrees and it's a long walk to the hospital because parking's terrible. So you have to park, blah, 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 blah. You got to walk like two blocks. You got to walk like two blocks to get to this hospital. And this mom had a baby in like a carrier with no shoes on and a tank top. And it's 30 fucking degrees out. There's a lot of people that just shouldn't be parents. You biologically being capable of having a child does not make you qualified to raise one. Anyway, let's see what Moist Critical had to say about this squirrel situation. Saw this morning when I went to my phone was a message from Matt who sent me a really sad story about an adorable pet squirrel named Peanut who was confiscated from his really home and slow. euthanized by the Department of Environmental Conservation in New York. So I started my day with a frown. They also executed Fred the Raccoon as well, another one of his not pets. Fred. So the Department of Environmental Conservation was not really conserving the environment. Instead, they were preserving their KD ratio here. Just See, I don't like, I don't, I'm already mad. Like, I don't know. Okay. They, they were doing their job. I can agree that this was a gross miss, 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 they, you know, this law should not have been enforced in this situation the way it was. It was way over the eight people at a guy's house for a fucking squirrel. Are you kidding me? But like, 
just just avoid all that and act like this guy is just a perpetual victim. I don't know. Let's let him go. Beloved pets of this man. It's disgusting. The reason the Department of Clowns gave is a load of barnacles. They said they got anonymous complaints. Thus, they showed up here like fucking every villain is lemons from Spongebob. And they confiscated his pets because there was a risk of rabies exposure through him having a squirrel and a raccoon in his home. Well, like, not even, but no. They didn't confiscate the pets just because of the rabies thing. They confiscated the pets because the guy legally could not have the pets. He could not. He, what he was doing was illegal and the pets had to be removed. Now, again, I, I think that it should have, again, I've said repeatedly, the maximum here that should have happened is the cop should have knocked on the door and let the guy know he can't keep the animals. And maybe he did and he chose to keep them anyway. We don't know that. We haven't heard the other side of the story. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. And then the guy, the guy knew that, they, like, no, they didn't just, they didn't just come and take the squirrels because they felt like being mean that day. There was a legitimate, you know, there was legitimate legal issues with him, them keep him keeping these squirrels, and it was very widely publicized through his social media interactions, with him posting his squirrel and his raccoon, maybe the raccoon, mostly the squirrel. Home, and then when they were kidnapping the pets, one of the officers apparently kidnapping the pets. Like I, I don't like I don't I don't I I don't like to avoid conversation. Like to act like there's not two sides to this. Apparently got bit by the squirrel, and thus they were concerned about potential rabies. But the only way to test for rabies is on a dead animal, so they killed Fred and Peanut to test for rabies. An entirely avoidable tragedy here because there was no reason to confiscate them in the first place. And there was also no reason to keep them in the first place, and there was also no reason to post them online in the first place. Sorry, not sorry. First of all, the officer being bit is a pretty normal thing to happen here when you're abruptly... An early stream, what is the madness? Did you get fired? No, I just took off today, and I wanted to make a video, and I couldn't find... I, I, don't, I didn't want to make this into a video. I don't care that much, but I also cared enough to talk about it on live stream and then maybe i'll play call of duty later there's a uh, thing up if i get 10 if i get 10 donos through live through the chat thing i'll uh, i'll play with just a throwing axe for three rounds taking an animal from its home it's going to get scared and it's probably going to bite because it's frightened and doesn't know what to do that's not exactly concerning alarming behavior that's unusual no it is it is ridiculous that the cops like had to put down i don't know they it, it, it's not even just good. It, it's it's bad for PR, right? If you're the police and you get bit by a squirrel and you end up euthanizing the fucking squirrel. If the police would have just done the morally correct thing in this situation and sent this squirrel away to go live on like like somewhere else where the, the squirrel could legally be kept, then they, they this, I don't think the story would have even grew wings because the problem here is the cute little squirrel got killed by the big bad police. And if the cops would have just taken the squirrel and then not have fucking needlessly killed the squirrel a bit heartless monsters about it, but they would have just taken the squirrel and put it to, you know, I, I looked it up. You you can take these squirrels to a sanctuary where it's illegal to, to keep them. They chose not to do that. And that's part of the, again, it was just, they mishandled the situation. They were within the legal rights to do what they did. Although the enforcement of this law seems ridiculous and the way they enforce the law also seems ridiculous, but also this guy runs a sanctuary and was posting his illegal harbored animals all over social media and then was surprised when someone did something about it. And the owner had both Fred and Peanut for an extended period of time and animals that have rabies usually don't last longer than two weeks. They're usually dead within yeah, two weeks. Yeah, but it is insane. Course, no matter how you slice it, it is insane that they put down the, the squirrel. Squirrels and raccoons can be vectors for rabies, but so can all... Although that's state law we just read. New York, it's state law that a captured raccoon has to be euthanized. I don't know if it was the same for squirrels. Which that is, that is dumb, but then we can't really be mad at the police. They were just doing their job. It literally said that for the raccoon. It said a captured raccoon has to be euthanized in New York state, which is stupid. But you know, if the cops, we don't, we don't know the full story. I think this has all been ridiculous, but the fact that they got to the point where they had to, you know, do their job for whatever reason. And then the fact that they, you know, they got the squirrel, they got the raccoon. I mean, the raccoon at that point, it, it was done. It was done. Once the police had the raccoon in custody, which is a ridiculous sentence, it had to be put down. Almost every other pet on the fucking planet, like dogs. Dave Jones, what is woke about a bunch of police barging into a house and murdering animals? Why does this have to? This is not political. This is not a political thing. This is this is not political at all. God, it's it is an election week, right? This is the big election week. Everything in the world's political.
Everything's poor. Devin is drinking a blue nerd energy. Joe Schmo is drinking a blue nerd nerd energy. Huh? Well, we know what he thinks. Like. For instance, is the DEC going to start Everything's acting political. on anonymous phone calls claiming that their neighbor's dog might not have their rabies shot? Is the DEC going to bust through their fucking walls with- No, because the dog is is a legal thing to keep. Ugh, oh, dude. I don't like the- I don't like the entire- This is not good. I don't like this video, Charlie. No, you're- He's avoiding the whole part of the story here. And that's the thing. He's a huge channel and he can't take two seconds. Maybe he'll get into it. But he's already like- front loaded the video for two minutes just only saying the one side of this like what's gonna happen next are they just gonna go barge into people's house and kill their dogs no because you can legally keep a dog as a pet in new york you cannot legally keep a squirrel and a raccoon that's been captured has to be euthanized and the guy running an animal sanctuary should have known this and chose to keep them anyway and chose to not send him to a sanctuary anyway that could have kept them legally and chose to post these animals on social media anyway and no one's going to criticize the guy for his role in these animals being put down no one's going to criticize him because he's the victim with a bazooka and start kidnapping people's dogs and euthanizing them to test for rabies probably not i understand that raccoons are one of the largest vectors for rabies but in this case the owner had a well, new york law once the raccoon is captured it has to be put down that's just New York law, Charlie. I'm I'm so sorry, but like that is that is a huge part of why the police handled the situation the way they handled it. That is not being talked about. Had him for so long that if it did have rabies, it would have shown symptoms and had already been dead. And he had peanut for seven years. So I think both were in the clear there. And from everything I saw and everything I read, he wasn't being irresponsible. I don't know about the squirrel for sure. Possible taking them to dangerous locations where they could be exposed to an infectious animal where they could contract rabies. No, he posted them all over social media, which put them in a dangerous situation where the police could have came and taken the animals and euthanized them, which is exactly what happened. So I think the this guy is not just this like 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 blatant fucking zero at fault victim. OK, although this was again, this was a ridiculous enforcement of law and policy. Risk of rabies exposure with this is pretty low. Yes, it is illegal to have wild animals as pets, but he had had peanut for seven years and I tried to release it back to the wild. But what? But what? And it's not like he just had the pet. He was posting it all over the fucking internet. Like, he was he was not being sneaky about this. This was not being handled with care. And this isn't just some rando Joe Schmo. This is a guy who runs an animal sanctuary and chose to handle the situation the way he handled it. Wild whip. And then the animals got fucking killed because of him posting the animals on social media. Because of him not sending these animals to go live on a sanctuary where they could be legally taken care of because they could not be re introduced back into the wild. And we're not allowed to talk about that part of the story because the big old mean bitch-ass cops, by the way, bitch-ass cops, eight people to apprehend a squirrel. Are you fucking kidding me? Bitch-ass cops picked on the nice, pretty squirrel. Peanut got injured and it was clear he couldn't survive in the wild on his own anymore. Uh, the owner, the father of Peanut, his name is Mark Longo. He said that he found Peanut after his mother had been hit by a car, so he took him in, nursed him back to health. When he released him, it was clear he couldn't survive after getting injured pretty much immediately. And thus he had Peanut for seven years, took him to vets, everything, did his due- And posted him all over Instagram in a state where it was illegal to keep the animal. Due diligence, but he never like had a permit to own Peanut or Fred the raccoon and a bunch of- The raccoon, anonymous... that according to New York state law, if it gets captured, a wild raccoon that gets captured has to be euthanized. Cannot be reintroduced into the wild. We read that earlier. Weirdo loser. Chose to post this shit all over the internet. Losers on Instagram reported him to the DEC. And the people who reported him are fucking losers. Who showed up with like six officials. Like they had fucking six officers deep in there. Like they're about to arrest Cobra Commander. And they took Fred and Peanut and then killed them. I actually believe it was a... I actually believe it was a... October 30th, DEC seized a raccoon and squirrel sharing a residence with humans, creating the potential for human exposure to rabies. Now I recognize that that might sound like a logical reason to people that may have just had a lobotomy, but as a hypochondriac, I have studied rabies extensively because I worry about every fucking disease and virus on the planet, and I can tell you that rabies isn't just some kind of random mutation that happens. They're not the fuck. No, no, but, but again, a lot of this is just ignoring the fact that once this raccoon was apprehended by police because it was illegally being kept which is the guy's fault, they cannot, it, I read it earlier on New York City's website, you cannot reintroduce a captured raccoon into the wild. It has to be euthanized. It wasn't even just because of the rabies. And I would assume the same is for the squirrel. I was, I was not able to find that much.
but like just just blatantly ignoring or or, or or choosing not to look further into it because you want to decide for the victim just fucking annoys me dude i'm fucking sorry x-men animals get rabies from infected animals it doesn't just spawn in there it's not the walking dead virus where they just have it by default they'd have to be exposed to it through either a bite or a scratch from an infected animal or in any way getting saliva from an infected animal inside of them and in extraordinarily rare cases there is something called aerosolized rabies which has only been documented in very humid caves with a lot of bats where there's poor ventilation so they have had non-bite exposure through that but I don't think Mark Longo was taking Fred and Peanut to the fucking caves next door like he was Batman or something so I Okay, okay, nice ramble, Charlie. But again, the raccoon captured has to be euthanized. It cannot be kept. And the dude's posting it all over social media. The squirrel is illegally being kept. And the guy's choosing to post it all over social media. Now, I don't, again, I don't know about the squirrel for sure, but the raccoon, at the point the police got involved, had to be euthanized by law. Squirrel, probably the same. Probably the same. Let's look it up. Let's look it up because, like, you can sit here and ramble and ramble and ramble and get so freaking mad all you freaking want that they put they put it down. But, like, the, the guy put these animals in this situation. And then the law did what the law did. Which it, I don't think they should have. I think they should have just looked the other way on this one, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. But the guy wasn't just harmlessly keeping these animals. He was posting it all over Instagram. What to do with wild squirrel... New York. Now, again, you could throw the whole rabies thing out because the correct procedure, the, the legal procedure, what you have to do to, once you capture a raccoon in New York is it has to be euthanized. You cannot reintroduce. It specifically states on their website, New York City's website. Where is it? Right here. Or was it here? Here. One of these websites we read cannot be reintroduced to the wild, has to be euthanized. You should in New York where Longo and Tyne okay, so this is actually the squirrel shit from the squirrel rescue live squirrels cannot be pets. If you find a squirrel or other animal that needs help in the state, you should find a licensed wildlife. Yeah, and the guy owned a sanctuary. He should know this. He acted very unprofessional with these animals and it resulted in them being killed by law enforcement. Which is ridiculous. But that is the truth. <laughs> like he is partially at fault here for the fate of these animals. And nobody wants to say that. Because we're supposed to just feel bad for the victim here. I can't find it. Here it was so cut and dry. Yeah, here it is. Once, and this is on... This is on Wildlife New York City. So that's my source. It says right here, once a raccoon has been trapped, the law requires licensed trappers to humanely euthanize the animal. So this whole ramble, like I just like we're just ignoring giant parts of why, like we're just so mad that the law got involved in the first place. We're not willing to look at why the guy mishandled the situation that got law enforcement involved in the first place, and we're not going to look at the fact that once the law had to get involved, they had to handle the situation a certain way. So the raccoon definitely had to be put down. Unfortunately, the squirrel. I would assume it's the same. Although I've not been able to corro corroborate that. But based on what I've seen, I would, assume, I would assume it's the same. Regardless, could have all been avoided by not making these animals into social media stars and handling them once they were in your care properly, professionally, and not posting them all over Instagram in a state where it's illegal to keep these animals. And you knew, should have known, that if the police did get involved, they would put down the raccoon. So I don't think there was a huge risk of Fred or Peanut having rabies, considering they both lived with so, him so, inside. So my point, my point of, is, this like whole chunk of the video is like fucking irrelevant, pretty much. His residence, like, just, just no, 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 no critical thinking. Just you kill cute squirrel, you bad. They then just go on to say that the test for rabies, both animals were euthanized. The animals are being tested for rabies. Anyone who's been in contact with them is strongly encouraged to consult their physician and then decline to comment further on it. Peanut and Fred were not a risk to the environment or a risk to those around them. This was just a complete waste of department resources that could have been better spent doing literally anything else. I, I can agree with that. I can agree with this 100%. It, it, it was such like everything. Like I'm, I'm trying to view both sides of it because I have a brain and I like to use it, right? But yeah, that is a completely valid argument these people have where this is just a complete misuse of department resources. This is a complete like 
over enforcement of law. It, this is stupid. This is like hall monitor level shit where a bunch of Instagram people complained and bitched and got their way just because they knew they could get away with it, which is insane. They're a bunch of fucking losers. Actually, anything else. I don't get New York's priorities at all here. When it comes to shit that actually matters, they are so slow and unresponsive. Yet, when it comes to killing the- What, you live in New York? You live in Florida, Charlie? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. But what are you talking about? When it comes to things that actually matter, they are so slow. Oh, you live in New York City. You know how things work there. No, you don't. Hey, joining in, why does the raccoon have to be put down? It's just, pri it's just, um, it's just New York law. Unfortunately, it's just New York law. Once, once, here, right here. This is on- wildlifenewyorkcity.com. I believe we also read it over here on the official website of the New York, but of New York City, but it says it right here. Raccoons. Once a raccoon has been trapped, the law requires licensed trappers to humanely euthanize the animal. They may not be re relocated. Trap raccoons in parts and other public properties. So like the once once this guy posted these animals all over the internet, he should have known running an animal sanctuary that if the police were to come and intervene, which admittedly was probably very unlikely, but didn't end up happening that the fate of this animal that he was supposed to be protecting would be being euthanized. And he chose to make a public spectacle online about with these animals anyway, which should never really became an issue, but it was technically against the law. This guy runs an animal sanctuary should have known better. And it, unfortunately at the end of it, the, the, the raccoon was put down. Now, again, I cannot find anything about what the correct procedure is when you capture a squirrel i would assume it's the same but i don't know but regardless he knew he shouldn't have had the squirrel he chose to post it on social media these are decisions he made for the animal that he was supposed to protect and then when law which the law getting involved is kind of silly but he knew it was a risk he knew he was putting these animals in danger. Should have, at least. He runs an animal sanctuary. Once the consequences of his own actions came to fruition, because the police have nothing better to do than sp send eight police, or whatever, six, eight police to go kill a squirrel, then then we're victims. Now we're victims. We don't, now we're surprised Pikachu facing. This dude's pets, they're like Goku with instant transmission. They're there and ready. It just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. But hats off to the DEC for quickly and promptly executing these pets, keeping the city safe, doing the important work, the dirty work that people are afraid to do, but it needs to get done. So if you like animals, sleep in fear because the DEC might come over and just slit their- No! Because he said this earlier. Well, they're going to come and just start killing dogs now because the neighbors are reporting they might have rabies? No, Charlie, they're not because you can legally keep dogs in New York City. It's just- it's just- I don't like the, like ignoring, ignoring all of the nuance of the situation. He has some legitimate points here. This is a gross re enforcement of law. This is stupid. This is a law that was over enforced. The way it was enforced was stupid. All of that is fair. All of that is good. Also, these animals were being illegally kept. They weren't just being kept as pets. They were being posted all over social media. The guy owns a actual animal sanctuary. He should be a professional when it comes to these things. He chose to handle the situation extremely unprofessionally, and that resulted in the animals being euthanized. That is the story. That is both sides of the story as I see it. And we're ignoring we're ignoring things. We're, we're leaving things out of the conversation to make this guy into more of a victim than he actually is. Although he is a victim because this is this is this is very silly, right? But that doesn't mean I'm gonna ignore the the mistakes that the victim made to put themselves in the situation to begin with. Their fucking throats at some point just for fun. I think this is just ridiculous. As you can tell, I'm pretty upset by it. There's really no justification I can see for this. This did nothing to help anyone. It just killed this guy's pets. The people that anonymously complained about it from the internet. Yeah, and this this is then that like I'm not a total cold hearted dick. Dude, like, I agree with this part of it here. ...are some of the most joyless, vile cretins. Like, that is so pathetic. And from what I can tell, all this guy ever did was post cute videos with his squirrel peanut. But he didn't have to do that. It's illegal. It's like posting videos of you doing 130 miles an hour up the fucking highway, and then you're mad when the cops come to your door. Do I have a problem with you going out at 1 in the morning when there's no cars on the road and running your fucking car up the highway? Absolutely not. Do I think it would be stupid for the police to enforce law on you when no one got hurt and they know that you're going to a secluded road in the middle of the night to run your car? No, I don't think they should get involved. But if they do get involved and the cops do knock on your door, I'm not going to sit here with you and act like I we should have never seen this coming. Like you're just completely innocent victim in the situation.
Uh, and he even has a non-profit for rescues where he has like 300-something animals there. It's called the Peanut Freedom Farm. Like, all this guy was doing was just minding his own business and posting adorable videos with his pet. And yet still, the law... Which, which was illegal. All this guy was doing was breaking the law, posting it on the internet, and then the law got involved. Like, like that... Like he could have kept this animal as a pet and just shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, about it. You could even lie. You could even lie. You could have kept it for like a month and then just lied and said you sent it to a squirrel sanctuary because you knew it was illegal to keep the squirrel and you wanted to protect the squirrel and keep it. That would have been the correct, maybe not the correct, but that would have been the way I would have handled it. That would have been more responsible than what he did. Loveless, brainless weirdos found a way to hate him for it, report him to the authorities to try and get his squirrel taken away so that way he'd be as miserable as they are. I am yeah, they are freaks. The people who reported him are a bunch of fucking losers. Still just blown away. Jaw on the floor with how quickly the New York DEC responded. No, they don't deserve this, Bagel. So the guy who ran an animal sanctuary and was responsible for the animals shouldn't have put them in the situation to begin with just because he thought it was very unlikely that law would be enforced. That's my whole point. The animals did not deserve this. This was a gross misenforcement of law by the police. But at the end of the day, this dude did not do his job, was not responsible. And that is why these animals got put down. And we're supposed to ignore that because we feel bad for the cute squirrel that got put down by a bunch of bitch ass officers. To this to come over here and take this man's pets and then kill them. Because I know for sure that if you right now in New York called them up and said, help, I have a huge problem. I have raccoons and squirrels out the wazoo in my house. It's a major infestation. I think they might even be carrying rabies. I saw foam at the mouth. Help, I'm panicking. Can you get someone out here to come take them away? They wouldn't show up. You'd wait six or eight months if they even bothered to... And then he keeps saying shit like this. Charlie lives in fucking Florida. And he's making these, like, critical statements of how New York City addresses situations and how they're slow. How the fuck do you know? You don't. You're talking out of your ass, bro. <laughs> like, I don't mind being critical of law enforcement, but you got to at least, like, have some way of showing that you fucking have a clue of what you're talking about. Just swing around there. You'd already be dead and your corpse fucking rotting in that house before they'd come around and actually try and do something about it. Yet for this case, with a social media superstar squirrel peanuts... I guess they made an exception to get out there to execute him as promptly as possible. Now, as with everything, I've seen some people defending this, putting the cock of the DEC as deep down their throat as they can possibly muster, mostly on Reddit. I've seen a lot of Redditors running some PR here for the New York DEC, and the big thing they keep harping on is, it's Mark Longo's fault, he's a narcissist. I, I agree with that. I guess I'm sucking the DEC's cock. I also agree with all of his negative critiques of the police as well, though. I agree with his negative critiques. I believe this was a mishandled, like misuse of the law. I believe this was a waste of resources. I, I totally agree with all of that shit. But I also agree with my other points that are critical of the guy, the victim here. Because he posted videos of his squirrel for clout. He, he posted videos of actively breaking the law. Yes, that is criticizable. Why why are we why did you say that as if that was an insane thing to bring up? The fact that this guy had this squirrel, knew running an animal sanctuary that it was illegal to keep the squirrel, knew what the law could do if they knew he had the squirrel, and he chose to for years post this animal on social media. Why is that why is that insane to bring that up? It is correct. That is a correct statement. That is that is right. And you know what also is right? The police really shouldn't have probably ever gotten involved. The way they handled the situation was ridiculous. And this was a ridiculous enforcement of an arbitrary law that should not have been applied in this situation. Both of those statements can be true. Nobody's cock has to get sucked here, necessarily. He didn't have the proper paperwork, so play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Redditors love that one. They love that expression. That one's always a guaranteed thanks for the gold kind stranger. Yeah, I don't like I don't like this video. I don't I don't I don't I don't like the way he's rep only I don't like the way he's only representing one side of the argument and then he's like that, that is like he's like these are legitimate grievances to have with the guy who's running an a animal sanctuary and we're supposed to ignore all that shit because he's the victim and the squirrel was cute and the cops are bad. I don't, I don't understand the thought process of the police about these animals sending in eight cops. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Both of these things can be true. This is not a team sport activity. 
We can be critical of both sides of a situation. Look what both sides could have done to avoid this, to avoid the conflict. I understand the thought process of the police about these animals sending in eight cops, making a big deal out of it. Yeah, the fact that they even got to that point, I think, is ridiculous. I think this could have very easily be hand been handled with a conversation with the person illegally harboring the animals. I mean, I didn't think they would be bad. Would be yeah, they didn't think there would be backlash. Hundred percent. Though I, I do believe they were completely wrong morally for how they handled the situation. But I also believe that the guy that was keeping these animals, knowing better, running an animal sanctuary, shouldn't have been posting them all over social media. Then it surprised Pikachu faced when there were ramifications for his actions. Moment. That's a certified Reddit platinum. Uh, classic. So a not small number of Redditors in the comment section of this story that was on the front page were saying it's entirely Mark's fault. He is responsible for the death of these animals and this was a justified action barging into his home, taking them and then euthanizing them. No, I don't agree with that. I don't think it was a justified action. They were legally within the right and that person, the guy who owned the squirrel, put himself in that situation to begin with. But I do not believe that the way the police handled the situation is justifiable. That I would not agree with. That I am on Charlie's side with. I think that is so fucking stupid. I think it's okay to say, like, why didn't he go through the process of getting whatever paperwork he needed? There was no paperwork to have for the raccoon. Once the raccoon was caught, it had to be euthanized. And I'm kind of upset that Charlie couldn't spend two seconds just looking up at the the legality. Like, he's going to sit here and blast New York City Police Department, which I'm sure there's things to criticize them for. And he hasn't even done enough research to understand the fact that once the police apprehended the raccoon, at least, it had to be euthanized. Once the police were brought into the situation, it is procedure to euthanize the animal. And that is stupid, that is dumb, but that is procedure. So it's not like, oh, they wanted to kill it for fun. It was once they had the animal in custody, which is a ridiculous statement to make for a raccoon, they had to euthanize it. You cannot reintroduce the animal to the wild. That is New York City law. Yep, a person who owns a sanctuary should have known better, but also the way the authorities handled it is outrageous. Exactly. That is the correct, that is the correct way to view this. <laughs> in my personal opinion, that is the correct way to view this. Okay? From what I can tell, he tried. In fact, he was in the process of getting... He tried to get... What do you mean? Peanuts okay. as a registered educational animal when this happened. And that is a good point to bring up if that's true. Because I haven't seen anything that the uh, squirrel had to be euthanized. Only the raccoon. If that's fact, true, I would have to look further into that. But if there was a way to get this animal certified as an educational animal and he was currently going... But wait a second. He had the animal for six years. I'd have to look further into it. See, we don't know. There, there, might, there might have been more going on here than just the cops immediately... We've seen it too many times. There might have been more going on here than the cops just randomly decided to barge into this person's house. There might have been conversations and warnings occurring and the guy was ignoring them and then the police were forced to respond the way they did we don't know but i find not impossible not impossible at all but i do find it very difficult to believe that for the duration of the multiple years that this guy had peanut he was unable to acquire this license and was actively pursuing doing so the entire time and honestly if after six years five years four years two years you can't get those proper permits you need to get the animal to somewhere where it's going to be properly protected. That's still his fault. I'm sorry. He was in the process of getting peanuts as a registered educational animal when this happened. And from also what I can tell, he was also planning on trying to release Fred after it was fully... You can't release Fred in New York. If you want to release Fred, you should have sent it to another sanctuary out of state. This is dumb. This I do know about, and this is stupid. Back to health. So apparently Fred was dropped off at his place, and they nursed Fred. Let me read that. I wish he cited this so I could look into it further. Oh, they were planning to release it into the woods. You shouldn't say that. That's illegal. He should have not said that, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's more to the raccoon, honestly. If you've only had it for a couple months, we don't know what kind of condition the raccoon was in. Could have taken a couple months to recover. Maybe they were fully, in, which would have been against the law, but I don't give a fuck. Um, maybe they were planning on releasing it into the wild. But then why post it all over social media? Why put these animals in a position where the police could intervene and euthanize them? Which would have been the only fate for this raccoon 
had law enforcement gotten involved, which they did. Nursed Fred back to a healthy state, and they were planning on releasing him into the wild once he was ready to be. But even still, he did have Peanut for seven years and didn't have the paperwork. Big fucking whoop. I don't think that should be a death sentence. I don't understand why people are so excited about the government's ability to just come into your home and kill your pets. Like, why? Well, well, no, they didn't just randomly barge into this guy's animal and kill his pets. The guy was actively breaking the law and posting it all over the internet. If the guy would have just shut the fuck up and kept the animals and not have posted them all over Instagram, the animals would have probably been fine. I I'm sorry. You being the victim of something doesn't mean that you're completely not... You didn't put yourself in that situation. If I walk down the worst city in... I don't know. Charlie seems to think that New York is a crime capital. So it probably... To be fair, probably is pretty bad. If I were to walk down with Chicago... I think Chicago is the crime capital of the United States. If I were to walk down the street in Chicago, okay, with $300 hanging out of my back pocket and I get mugged, I am the victim of this incident and I put myself in that situation. Both of those things can be true at the same time. Is that something that people are going to try and champion? Like, uh, Mark Longo's fault. Should have had that paperwork. Would have kept his animals alive. They'd still yeah, no, it, but it is his fault. It is his fault. I'm sorry. He did not need to post the animal. It, he did not. There was, not, there was no one pointing a gun to this guy's head saying he had to post the squirrel on social media. It is his fault. The way he handled the situation was not professional, and it is his fault. And you can say that and also say that the enforcement of this law and the situation was ridiculous and the way the police enforced it was ridiculous. And both those statements can be true. Still be breathing right now. I think this is a totally fair response, a totally fair punishment for not having paperwork. We're going to kill your pets. I think that's stupid. Yes, I believe there's probably a way Mark could have had the paperwork earlier. Sure. But I don't think it should be just a death sentence for the pets because he didn't. I think it's ridiculous. Unless there was extenuating circumstances where the animals were living in a terrible environment, they were in harm's way, they were abused or something like that. Which they were being illegally kept in plaster all over social media, Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're going to break the law, it's one thing. I don't really give a shit that the guy, the squirrel, is a pet. But if I had an illegal animal, if I had a pet hedgehog, you wouldn't know about it. You know why you wouldn't know about it? Because I knew it was illegal to keep a fucking hedgehog here. And I wouldn't be sharing it all over my socials. Because I like my pet. I don't want it to die. Like, or be taken away from me. Which has happened in the past. There have been stories where people have taken wild animals, domesticated them, and then they put them in, like, the worst possible conditions that they're living in, and eventually the authorities swoop in and take them. That has happened, and those I do think make sense. But here, in the case of Peanuts and Fred, I don't think there was any of that going on, at least not from what's been reported. I think if that was the case, the DEC would have absolutely tried to save their own ass, saying, when we went there, Peanuts was in a malnourished state. He was surrounded by filth, uh, neglected, abused, or any of that. No information there. None of that was stated. So I don't think that's what happened here. This truly seems like a complete abuse of power. I don't think this was necessary. I can agree with that. I do think this is an abuse of power. Just because you're within your legal rights to do something and enforce policy doesn't mean you should. I can agree with that 100%. Sorry at all. So yeah, anyway, I wanted to talk about this a little bit. That's it. See ya. All right. So I don't know. Obviously, I was critical of critical, but I definitely don't. Uh, you know, his statements where he only covers the one side. He doesn't try to objectively look at both sides of this. I don't really like that. But, um, you know, overall, like, yeah, I mean, I've, I've said it a hundred times. I think that this was a gross misuse of power. I think that this law, the, the law being enforced in this situation was ridiculous. The way the law was enforced in this situation was ridiculous. I also think that this guy that ran an animal sanctuary didn't have to post his illegally harbored animals all over social media. I also think that six years is probably long enough to get a, a license to have an educational animal. And I think that this guy definitely didn't handle the t caretaking of these animals correctly. And he put them in the situation that inevitably led to their death because law enforcement had nothing better to do. A bunch of bitch ass cops had nothing better to do than send six officers to this guy's house to go kill a squirrel and a raccoon. That, 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 that's that's my take on the whole situation love it or hate it i don't know there's definitely two sides to the story and those that's how i see it 